Tanya Hoffman's fabulous. Tanya Hoffman's fabulous. Tanya Hoffman's fabulous, fabulous TV show. My goodness, you are in for a treat today because we are talking to the treat herself, Miss Giselle Cherry. She is amazing. So I want to remind everyone to open up your minds, open up ideas, listen for opportunities to learn something you've never thought about before. I love finding experts, experts that not only know their stuff, but have a passion for what they do. And that's what I love about Giselle. She helps so many men and women, especially women, go through the menopause stage to really help them clear up their life and their bodies. So we're going to find out so much about that. So Giselle is the CEO of Loving Raw Foods and just a complete fabulous person that as soon as you meet her, you want to give her a hug. She's just so wonderful. So how are you doing, Giselle? I'm doing great, Tanya. Thank you for asking. So tell us a little bit about your story. You know, how, where did, what brought you to where you are today and how did you learn about all these fabulous things? Oh, sure. I'd love to share that. First of all, I'm 57 years young and I love telling my age because a lot of people think I'm much younger and really flip out when I say I have grandkids. And um, I owe it mostly to my lifestyle, the way I eat. And that is, um, it's raw, whole, plant-based foods, and that's uh, fresh fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, smoothies. It's really quite easy, and it's basically just getting back to the earth, you know, the simple ways of doing things. And what got me started in this is I was about mid to late 40s. I was going through uh, hormonal imbalance or menopause, and it can be very uncomfortable very and sometimes scary because you 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 can't think straight you feel like you're kind of going nuts you know you just like everything's kind of out of whack in your body you know with the hot flashes and the night sweats and sometimes there's anxiety and depression and all it is is your hormones are out of balance and whenever you don't have the proper nutrition then your body doesn't have the tools it needs to rebalance itself so this is why I've gotten into this lifestyle I learned about it through a girlfriend of mine, and um, I was so happy to get this information because I had tried alternative and conventional, and and I would help, and then I would be right back where I started again. And one of um, a nurse practitioner, she was really sweet. She met well. Um, she um, told me that antidepressant or yeah, antidepressants would be helpful. And I reluctantly went there, and it helped a little bit, but I didn't really want to be on that. The last resort, I was on hormone replacement therapy. And there's a lot of concerns about putting that in your body as well. But once I learned how to add more fresh fruits and vegetables into my diet, I was able to wean myself off of the hormone replacement therapy. And I noticed other things, like my hair color was going back to red. You know, the gray hair was going away instead of more of it showing up. Um, and my skin was getting clear, uh, just I was feeling better. I could go on and on about all the benefits. It's just wonderful. I had to share it with people. Uh, right. I can't even imagine becoming a brunette again. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> so this is amazing to me. So you were trying everything, and yeah. you were just like reaching and asking someone, please help me. And I love the fact that you're out there helping people now say, I've gone through it. Listen to my story so that you don't have to go through that also, that you could take a natural way that really works. I love that. I, and that's what I love about what I do because whenever you're in that situation, you just, you don't know what to do. You feel hopeless because you try so many things and you cannot really find answers and so I like to gently take people by the hand, especially women, but everyone's got hormones, right? Men, women, and children. So I like to help everyone and let them know that there is a simpler, healthier option. 
and you can feel so much better in your body in so many ways. Well, I know you really opened up our eyes, you know, my whole family. And before that, it was all processed foods, you know, pastas and, you know, all of these different things that were already remade. And we have slowly <laughs> put more raw foods, vegetables, fruits into our diet, seeds and nuts. And it's been a real eye opener. And we started realizing, oh, my gosh cucumbers taste awesome oh my gosh look at the flavor in this apple you know you forget how really yummy real food is oh absolutely and it's one of the neat things i mean there's so many benefits but one of the neat things is the more you eat like this your taste buds become more sensitive you appreciate what real food tastes like you know the juicy flavorful in its natural state and you're doing your body some really well Pass it on, you're doing the body good, right? You know, I mean, this is really true about this kind of lifestyle. And all it is is your fresh fruits and vegetables, they have their vitamins, their minerals, and their nutrition still intact because they're not heated over 115 degrees, which actually kills most, if not all, of your nutrition. Wow. Mm -hmm. So tell us, how do you go out and change the world? What is... How do you help people? Do you have some tips that you could give us to kind of help move us in that direction? Absolutely. I always encourage people take it in steps and with anything that appears new to be gentle with yourself because we're just not raised this way. I mean, I remember when TV dinners were the thing, right? Pop them in the microwave and you're done. <laughs> well, that's not the best thing for your body, but that's a whole other topic. But anyway. <laughs> So I suggest just doing it slowly, add a little bit more each day. It could be a salad. You could do, if you eat meat, you could do like baked chicken on your salad or, or salmon on your salad. Or you could eat a mono meal, which is like an apple or carrots, a, a single vegetable or fruit. Um, I think one of the easiest ways to, especially if you're on the go, like in the morning or you're in a hurry, is to throw a smoothie together. And that's got the nutrition in it and it's tasty. And that's really quite simple. You just take a base of almond milk or coconut milk. You can get it at most stores now. And pretty much, I think everyone's starting to carry it now because they're becoming more conscious of people getting more health conscious. And so about, oh, cup and a half of that. And then you can use pitted dates to sweeten it, which gets you away from the refined sugars. And um, like some frozen peaches or whatever favorite mixed fruit of yours, and then a banana. And, um, and then take like a handful of baby spinach, fresh baby spinach. It could be any dark leafy green, but I think spinach is probably an easier one to start with as you're introducing it to your, to your body. And you just kind of chunk it in there and you blend it up really good and put it in a jar and you can sip on it, you can take it out the door, it's filling, it's delicious, and you've got the dark leafy greens have your protein, your calcium, your phytonutrients, your chlorophyll, I mean, that's what gives your body power and you've got your fruits that help with the taste so you can't taste the green but you're getting the benefit and it's so easy nice you know i started doing exactly that you know from your ex inspiration and everything and the almond milk you know i was surprised i didn't really even tell even though and it's lower in calories <laughs> and i really didn't tell a difference in my smoothies going from milk to the the almond milk and almond milk, it's high in protein, and it doesn't uh, create inflammation like dairy does, which a lot of people don't realize that. So it, there are easier options. <laughs> well, and one of the things that I realize is when I'm, if I just take a shake and I'm just drinking it, it's just not very satisfying. So I right. started putting some pieces of real almonds or other nuts or something kind of chewy or crunchy. Yeah in it to make it and just mix it up not blend it so it doesn't you know crunch it and then now i've got something to chew on while i'm drinking my my smoothie that's a good way to do it too absolutely i don't know why i feel like i need to eat when i'm supposed to be eating <laughs> that's all right i mean it's easy for your digestion but it's still good to to chew even though it is blended because digestion starts in the mouth and starts with the chewing so that's going to help you absorb your food better just makes it easier for the body. Right, right. 
So I know too. Oh my gosh. Okay. So y'all have to know this. So we're, I was at this big um, event with Giselle and we, she comes in with this pan and I'm like, Oh, this is before I started doing the whole raw foods thing and stuff. And I'm like, Oh, what is she going to give everybody? Right. I think you were even the spotlight speaker or something. And uh, she opens it up and it's chocolate. They were little chocolate balls. I'm like, Oh man, those are going to be some really bad tasting chocolate. Oh my gosh, they were delicious and it blew me away. And that's kind of that aha moment that this raw foods, different stuff can taste really good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the chocolate truffles have been one of the favorites. And um, I love teaching people the recipes. It's so easy and it's delicious and nutritious. That's the neat thing about it because it's body friendly and it tastes good and it's body friendly at the same time. Like, wow, what a concept, right? <laughs> um, exactly. But um, I do have a special offer that I, I want to let everybody know about as we go. Um, and I, everyone's going to love it because it's going to really make things easier uh, to incorporate this lifestyle and to start feeling really vibrantly healthy in your body. Yes, make sure everyone sticks around to the end so you get that free offer. Now, I know, Giselle, I mean, you are I've heard you speak, and every time I'm blown away. So it's amazing to, to hear your knowledge. What some of the challenges that most people, is it just a kind of a head game to switch from what they think is, you know, they're, I don't understand why you eat raw food. Is there something that keeps people from wanting to do it and try it out? Well, Tanya, anytime something appears new, it feels like a challenge. And this really isn't new. It's been around for ages and ages. But it feels new to us because that's just not how most of us are raised. And so I understand that. And I, um, that's why I suggest to people to take it in steps and be gentle with themselves. It's a process and everybody can do things a little differently. You know, some can start out with 20%, some can go 50 or more. Everyone's a little different and I honor that. And um, the best way to make change that is going to last is to start where you're comfortable and, you know, kind of out of your comfort zone, but enough comfortable enough that you're going to stick with it. And then that's where a habit starts developing and your body naturally craves more of good nutrition. So that's one of the, the challenges. Also, one of the challenges that people are questions that come up are, how do I introduce this to my family when I'm, I'm ready to make some healthy changes in my life and feel better, but the rest of my family just isn't quite on board. And I recognize that too because I've seen that in my own family. And that can be a little challenging. That's one of the reasons why I, I have coaching programs and I have raw food potlucks to help support people as they're transitioning and as they're adding more of this kind of, these kind of foods into their life. But actually, you can have fun with this. Depending on the age of your kids, you can have them help you make the green smoothie drinks. You can call them monster drinks. You can have them get in there and, and use their hands and form these, these delicious uh, cookies that are no sugar, no dairy, but absolutely to live for. Um, teenagers, teenagers are very aware of their complexion because their 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 self esteem, you know, and then their peer pressure kind of thing. And to let them know that eating this way actually helps to clean up their skin, and they they have more energy for you know those games, for football, for tennis, whatever activities they're in, and their complexion looks better. So like. You know, they're really going to be looking sharp with their peers, right? So there's different ways of, of working through that. It's I know, because really even for my 10-year-old, you know, um, he was really fighting it hard. And then I realized, I just said, well, just try one of these vegetables today. And... He's so suddenly he realized he really actually likes broccoli. He dips it into a little bit, not too much of, you know, like a ranch or something, just to start to give him the process of thinking that there's some options, you know, and then we'll move him from that and away from the dip into something healthier, you know? So it's just about getting the, get them to even used to the idea that it's not something that they're going to throw in the microwave and they're done with. And he really likes the smoothies. Mm -hmm. It's just a process. You just take it in steps. And there again, I, I cannot emphasize this enough to be gentle with yourself and everyone involved in the process and have fun with it. You know, like with the smoothies, with 
Um, you know, if you have little kids, you can make faces with different fruits and vegetables. You can be really creative. You can take um, a watermelon and empty it out and do watermelon balls and can uh, cantaloupe balls and, you know, like make a little basket out of the watermelon. I mean, so many cool things you can do with it. Just have fun with it. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Well, and, you know, and even for my daughter who's in college now, when she came home for the summer, you know, it was funny because she's like, wait a moment where's dinner? I'm like, this is dinner. And it was just like this shock for her. She's like, what? You know, <laughs> where's the lasagna? Where's the spaghetti? You know, but then once she started getting into it and understanding why, why did we switch? And yeah. I think it kind of starts opening their minds up because when you just kind of get used to, this is what we always eat. Then when something's different, it's like, wait a moment, you know, where's the norm, that comfort food kind of mentality? Right, right. So talking through through it with them and explaining that's that's very important too. They're smart. They they just need to know. And it there again, it's something different. So it's just a process. Exactly. Do you suggest when like um, the school system, they're you know if they're buying the cafeteria food, <laughs> is to pack them a lunch more than just having them buy the cafeteria. Yes, because uh, some of the schools are starting to get on board. Uh, they're becoming a, a more aware, but I would absolutely pack their lunches and tell them why. And uh, the more you experiment with it and you, you make some really delicious treats or combination, once their friends want to check it out too, I mean, you know what I mean? It kind of snowballs and um, then they can introduce their friends too. I, now that you brought that up, I think it's very important to help uh, the schools to become more aware of the nutrition because pizza and hamburgers and fries to feed these little young minds that are supposed to understand and, and absorb information that's not the best nutrition for their little noggins they need something a lot healthier so they can think more clearly <laughs> right i know i remember you know the the food pyramid right <laughs> we all grew up on yeah. the food pyramid mm -hmm. and I remember going to, to school and my mother packing me a lunch. And so she had a white bread. So that was your bread, you know, level um, with bologna. Yeah, <laughs> she, that. she put um, relish in there. So that was your vegetable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then she had the, you know, the Twinkie for your, the dessert. So she <laughs> felt was giving me everything and I look back and I'm like oh my gosh oh and potato chips that was obviously a vegetable <laughs> of course <laughs> we have come so far from our parents and that whole idea of what we should be putting in our bodies <laughs> yes and you know they had the, the greatest of intention and love when they packed those those lunches for the kids and for us kids and you, you do what you know until you know something different. And that's part of what I do is letting people know and also by bringing chocolate truffles to meetings so you can taste it and see how good it is. <laughs> Don't bring that. <laughs> well, and, you know, and truly, you know, you think about just the this misleading information. You know, if you go down the cereal aisle, you know, Vitamin C added, you know, it looks like really healthy stuff. Like you're adding all of these great things. And then you start realizing when you look at the package, what's actually in there? You know, who cares if there's a vitamin C added? <laughs> right. And that's another thing I encourage people is to start reading labels. You'll be surprised just because this is natural on the front. You can turn it around and it can have so much refined sugar or high fructose corn syrup or whatever. And actually refined sugar not only is it very addictive uh, it's kind of like a hook and I think that's why they have it in so many foods but uh, it starts the the degenerative process it starts breaking down the body that's where illness starts that's wow. one of the places where illness starts mm -hmm. yeah you know my husband found out he had diabetes uh, about a year and a half two years ago and he's considered diabetes free because he switched his diet, he's losing weight, but he's switched his diet and it made a huge difference, you know, going from sodas to water, going from Big Macs to um, 
shakes, you know, and things like that. And we've been really shocked how fast it worked and um, just how much better he feels and everything. Yes, and there's lots of documentation out there. You can go, Netflix has a lot of it, uh, but there have been so many cases where people have reversed diabetes and cancer and, 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 and. And, uh, of course, you know, I'm not a doctor. I can't claim a cure, but there's plenty of evidence out there that just simply putting foods that still have their life force in it, meaning their nutrition, vitamins, minerals, and enzymes into your living body, it just makes sense because you need foods that feed the cells. So, you know, there's something to work with there. Otherwise, if there's no nutrition, your body starts breaking down because it has no food that's going to build it and keep it strong, you know, for a long period of time. So what is your, because um, we're talking about vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds. How about meat? What do you, what is your opinion on meat? Well, meat is actually very acidic, just like cooked uh, foods are and dairy. But I know a lot of people that's really hard for them. What I suggest is if you're going to consume meat, just be conscious of the source. Make sure the animal is treated well and also um, that it's a source that doesn't pump their meats with hormones and antibiotics because you're ingesting that into your body. And that's another, uh, that's just another recipe for illness in your future. So just being more conscious of, of your source and eating something clean. So more like organic meats and things like that. Yes. And that, um, you know, without going into great detail, these animals, a lot of these animals uh, raised to put on our tables are not um, raised in a, a loving way. It can be very cruel. And so just being aware and then and choosing more consciously. Perfect. Now, I know you're giving away something amazing today. So what is that? Well, <laughs> um, because I like to walk people through this and let them know that it's really simple. It can be fun. What I have to offer you today is um, you go to lovingrawfoods.com forward slash services, S-E-R-V-I-C-E-S, -E -E and I will be giving away my ebook version of my first book. And what that is, is Simple Solutions for a Sexy and Slender Body with Raw Life Enhancing Foods. And what that is, is a very easy book. It's like I'm taking you by the hand and gently walking through, showing you how to add more and incorporate more into your life. And I have recipes that you can utilize right away. Right away. Um, some really delicious chocolate recipes and smoothie recipes and just a lot of things that are really quite tasty. And there's a journal. There's a two-week journal in there. So also another little tool to help assist you. There's also a free 30 to 45 minute consultation with me after you read it in case you have any questions or suggestions or jokes or whatever, you know, uh, you can, um, you know, I'm willing to help you with that because sometimes things will pop up when you're reading and, and that's great. I want to help you. So this book is there again, it's simple solutions for a slender and sexy body with raw life enhancing foods. It's the ebook version. And you go to Loving Raw Foods forward slash services. So Loving Raw Foods dot com forward yes, slash thank you. services with an S. Yes. Perfect. yes. Perfect. Well, thank you for being on today. Make sure you take care. And everyone, please go and get this ebook. I mean, everybody needs to just get curious, you know, try this out. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. And it was more beneficial than I could ever expect it to be. So thank you, Giselle, for not only for being my friend and not only for being on, you know, this show today, but also just to get your message out there and start to help people see alternatives to their life. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You have a beautiful day, Tanya. Yeah, we'll have you on again soon. Everyone, thank you for being here. Oh my gosh, you know, I just love this because it really, 
I get to meet all these fabulous people. I get to hear their stories. I get to hire them and get involved in what they have to offer. And that's why I want to bring it to the world so that you have that opportunity also. So get in touch with Giselle if you would like her to come and speak at your next event or myself. You know, give us a call. We're here to help. Go to her website. Go to public speakers with an s association.com and then you can find us on there also so thank you for joining us today and we will see you next time bye